This is Italian Football Lover Channel, my friends. I want to make analysis and talk about the tactics of Benevento Milan game. Milan won 2 0 against Benevento in away game. Yes, in this game, Milan started the game better and faster. Especially, Milan developed attacks from the left with uh, Rebic and Dalot came to forward and supported him. Sometimes Dalot came close to left line and Rebic got into the penalty area. Sometimes Dalot got into the penalty area, came to the middle and Rebic came close to left wing. And on the midfield, Kessi and Tonali uh, played close to each other and they played more defensively together. And uh, when Diego Dalot uh, came to forward, sometimes Milan defense uh, line formation turned into three. Romagnoli, Cagliari and Calabria stayed on the back and uh, Kessi replaced off Dolot when he go forward. And in Milan, uh, sometimes Leo uh, changed their position. He he came to right, he came to left. Rafael Leo, sometimes Hakan Chalhanoğlu came to the left and uh, supported the attacks. But uh, Tonali saw red cards uh, 35 minutes of the game and after uh, this red card Pioli made one substitution uh, Diaz out Krunic in and Krunic played instead of Tonali with Kesi uh, front of the defense line and Donnarumma saved so many balls uh, in the first half he was uh, he was really a hero for Milan he saved so many balls uh, the first half was finished 1-0. The penalty goal of Kessi. Just uh, Benevento start to second half uh, with a substitution. And Hetemai out. Moncini in. Uh, Moncini played uh, behind of Lapodula La here. He's an uh, offensive player. And in the first half, Letizia was injured. Uh, Improta played. Uh, replaced of him on the right back. And uh, Benevento made press on uh, Milan defense, but Milan was uh, so successful defensively. And in the second half, uh, Hakan Chalhanoğlu started to start to play on the left. Hakan played on the left in the second half, and uh, Leo played on the right. Here, Leo played on the right midfield, and. Rebic played on the forward in the second half. Rebic played on the forward in the second half. Uh, and Hakan Chalhanoğlu, Rebic and Leo uh, made counter-attacks sometimes in the second half. Uh, there were so many empty spaces behind of Benevento defense line. Uh, in Milan's second goal, Hakan Chalhanoğlu received the ball and he started to attack for the Milan. He gave his pass to the Rebic. Rebic came to the a midfield and got the ball he brought to the forward and made an assist to Leo scored to goal uh, with a big mistake of goalkeeper Montipo the score was 2-0 with this goal after uh, one more substitution made by uh, Inzaghi and uh, Tuya out Tuya out on the defense and full on in after these substitutions uh, Grig played on the center of the defense with Barba. Barba played here with Grig. Uh, and one more substitution made uh, from uh, made by Stefano Pioli. And Castillejo uh, got into the pitch. Rebic out. Castillejo in. Castillejo played uh, on the right. And Leo played on the forward after this substitution Leo played on the forward here uh, and uh, it was so hard game and last uh, two substitutions came from uh, Inzaghi, Caprari out, uh, Di Serio in, Insigne out, uh, Sao in on the forward and Calabria out, Conti in uh, in Milan and Kayer out, Kalulu in Milan uh, Milan uh, won this hard game. It was very important. Three points. Milan is still leader in uh, Serie A. And all my comments like this about Benevento Milan game. You can write your suggestions and comments under my video. Please open up your notification rings. 
Please subscribe to my channel, watch my videos. Thank you very much. See you on my next videos. Bye.